Okay, so in this video, we discuss all about the trigonometry. So we have the learning objectives of the topic. So first, the introductions of trigonometry. Discuss all about the plane trigonometry, which includes the topic angle of measurements, general classification of triangles, solution to the right triangles, Pythagorean theorem, special triangle, solution to oblique triangles, and angle of elevations and depressions and trigonometric identities. Discuss also the spherical trigonometry which includes the topic, spherical triangle, right spherical triangle, oblique spherical triangle, and areas of uh, spherical triangle. So, what is tri trigonometry? So, trigonometry is the study of triangles by applying the relations between the sides and the angles. Okay? The term trigonometry comes from the Greek word trigonon, which means triangle and metria meaning measurements. So, what are the two branches of trigonometry? So, namely, first is the plane trigonometry. So, deals with triangles in the two dimensions of the flame. Another is spherical trigonometry concerns with triangles extracted from the surface of a spear. Okay? So, we have the standard signs of an angle measurements. Okay? So, we indicate or we illustrate like this. We have the initials and terminal sides. Take note that the Another term of initial side that is a reference side. Okay. So, and this uh, illustrate. So, we have the counter clockwise directions. Counter uh, clockwise angle one. Okay. So, take, take note that that is a positive angle. The sign of that, that is positive. Okay. So, another negative angle which is the clockwise direction okay that is a negative angle so for example an, ang an angle of 270 degrees clockwise directions is equals to how many meals okay so solutions so the problem says clockwise directions that is negative okay so we write here or we put here negative 270 degrees times the 6400 meals over 360 degrees is equivalent to a negative 4800 meals. Okay? So take note that we have the conversions of an angle. Okay? Not only the units, but also the angle having a conversions. Okay, in terms of 1 degree is equivalent to 60 minutes, 1 minute is equivalent to 60 seconds, 90 degrees is equals to 100 gradients, pi rod is equals to 180 degrees, and 1 revolution is equals to 2 pi rod, and also another is 1 revolution is equals to 360 degrees, another is 2 pi rod or region, then 400 gradient, then 6400 wheels. Another is 6,400 guns. Okay? So, standard names of an angles according to their measurements. So, name, another is angle measurement. So, when you say node or zero, where theta natodia is uh, zero degrees. When we say acute angle, uh, zero degrees is less than theta, is less than 90. It means, for example, uh, we have the 89 degrees. When we say 89 degrees, uh, it is a right angle or acute. Okay? So, it is an acute angle. 89 degree is considered as acute angle. Okay? So, the right angle is only the where theta here is 90 degrees. Okay? When we say obtuse angle, Take note that 90 degrees is less than theta is equals to 1 or sorry is less than 180 uh, degrees. Okay? So, for example, uh, we have a 91 deg degrees. 
It is an obvious angle or acute angle. Okay? So, 91 is considered as obvious angle. Also, the 179 degrees also considered as uh, obvious angle. Okay? So, take note, the straight angle is where theta here is always 180 degrees. Okay? So, on a reflex angle, so more than 180 degrees, that is a reflex, ang reflex angle. For example, 181 that degrees is reflex angle. So, not less than, than, not less than 360 degrees. Okay. So, uh, 359 degrees is a reflex angle. Okay. So, another is polygon or wall angle. So, that is where theta na to is 360 degrees. Okay. So, this is the illustrations in terms of zero angle, the acute angle, the right, of, right angle. Okay. Then obtuse angle, then straight angle, then reflex angle, then full angle or perigon. So, we have the angle first. When we say complementary angles, two angles whose sum is 90. Okay. When we say supplementary angles, two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. Okay. So, explementary angles, two angles whose sum is 360. So, for example, so find the measures of an angle if it is 12 less than twice the measure of its complement. Okay? So, this is the worded uh, problems. Okay? So, solutions. So, let x is equals to unknown angle. Okay? So, let 90 minus x is equals to complement of an angle of x. Okay? So, by the way, take note. When we say complement, that is not more than the angle is the the unknown angle uh, the unknown angle of that is not more than 90 degrees okay if it is more than we use the supplementary angles which is the equivalent is 180 degrees or the sum uh, of the unknown angle is 180 so the angle is the the problem is uh, complement one, okay? So we find the complement angle of that, okay? So the only thing that uh, we need to uh, remember that that is not more than 90 degrees ang angle ang or ang yang i complement, okay? So we write the uh, which is the we formula the formula. Okay? Or the equations. By the way. Okay? So, this is the equations, no? So, where x is equals to twice. The problem said by twice. Okay? Twice the complement. Or its complement. That is 90 minus x. Then, 2 less than or minus 12. So, that is the equations of this, the problem given. Okay? So, simplify. x is equals to 180. Uh, minus 2x minus 12. So, uh, we get positive 2x here on the left side. And that is x plus 2x is equals to 180 minus 12. So, 3x is equals to uh, 168 degrees. So, divided by 3, that is 56. So, where the complement angle is exactly as 56 degrees.